Hello, Aquarius. We have a connection here where someone wants to bring in quite the love offer, but you just keep pumping the brakes. Let's dig in to see where this goes. <music> Hello everyone, welcome in. This is an Aquarius tarot reading. It is a general reading for May 23rd through the 29th. Let's dig in to see what sort of thing we have for you guys coming up for next week. This month is flying by so fast. I feel like it's like, are we in June yet? Wait a second. Okay. Silver Siren number 37. Reduces to a 10 to a 1. Let's see. Um, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that that card's not my favorite. <laughs> it says, when is an enchantment not enchanting? When it is a spell that you allow to consume your free will, even as it promises so much and yet delivers so little. The Silver Siren sings her song, A Pretty Poison to the Soul. Her false allure tempts the mind... Even whilst the heart feels something is not quite right. Your power will come from discerning the truth and allowing her false promises no place in your heart. So this is a lesson of discernment. Okay. Um, about, and it's basically teaching you not to compromise your integrity. Sometimes a silver siren can literally be a person in your life. Okay. It can literally be a person in your life. So we're going to find that out. Let's see what energy is going to complement the Silver Siren. Okay. Hold your vision. Yes, stick to your guns. Yes, 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 absolutely. In the face of such bullshit, yes. This one, okay. What is going on with Aquarius where they have to hold their vision? Hmm. It's a terrible shuffle. Let's try that again. There we go. I'm getting jealousy with the silver siren too. Not not from you, but pointed at you. This may not be something that you see. Get a little bit more here. Okay. Four of cups underneath. Ooh, ace of swords. Three of swords. Ace of Wands, Hierophant, Card of Taurus, Star, there's your card, Chariot, Card of Cancer, Knight of Cups, well, someone's got love on the brain, yes, they do, yes, they do, and they want to send their knight to meet with your knight, and there's some really deep feelings here, okay, you're on their side because you're on the brain. Big time. There's a brand new beginning between you. More than one, actually. <laughs> I'm going to read this side is you, Aquarius. This side is your person. This is the situation. Brand new beginning based in truth. The only, I wouldn't even call it a downside. Um, to the Ace of Swords is that, yes, it is a brand new beginning. Um but it's not the smoothest start. Sometimes revealing the truth is, isn't sometimes as difficult. Sometimes it's something that needs to be dealt with. So got inner turmoil on your side for some reason. Okay, with the Three of Swords. Hierophant, Card of Taurus, Chariot, Card of Cancer. There is, it feels like you're not stuck because it's like you're actively assessing this situation. You're trying to evaluate whether or not to give yourself permission to move forward with this person. 
I'm wondering how this applies now. So let's let's expand on the Ace of Swords and see what the whole truth of the situation is here. Because it looks like that you they want to bring in a legit love offer to you. There's a lot of passion here. So let, let's expand on the Ace of Swords, please. Let's see the whole situation behind this Ace of Swords. Knight of Swords, Nine of Cups, Judgment, Sun, Leo Energy, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups. There's too many people here. <laughs> There's too many people here. Hold on. Hmm. So one of you could have cut out a fire sign. Looks like this situation. See where the... It shows, shows me where a whole cycle is. See where it's the ace to the ten and all this happened in this cycle. There was too many people here. Two kings and an emperor. There were three people. In a very real situation, because pentacles are real. Pentacles are real. And it looks like a queen of wands was either left out or left waiting. And then moved on. Well, let's see. Let's go back to this first, <laughs> one step at a time. Knight of Swords, Nine of Cups, Judgment, Sun. Someone wants to resurrect this situation and the other person is holding back. It's very clear they want to resurrect. You are kind of holding back. There's something here about not wanting to give up freedom. Okay. Um... I'm going to need one more for this Eight of Cups, please. <laughs> that Queen of Wands, she really did want to come out. And for the Seven of Swords. Six of Swords. It's, it's that feeling of like knowing like previously having to cut your losses kind of thing it's okay okay let's let's see where we go so one half of this connection wants to move this forward and not just forward but as quickly as freaking possible <laughs> the other half um has a little bit of uh not even a start stop start stop but more of a do i want to let go of there's a level of independence here that was developed Okay. And there's also the secret thought of if is this something I'm just going to have to move on from anyway? Like I had to move on from this Queen of Wands if this is not the Queen of Wands. Okay. The truth is is this going to be is this going to hurt me more than it's going to make me happy? Okay. Let's expand on your side Aquarius. Let's do that. So I have a feeling that the silver siren is in your head and we'll see as we expand on your side here four of cups five of swords Ooh, empress on the bottom yeah someone was either left behind or pushed away before it's also more um taurus libra leo and libra again someone who didn't make a move previously Okay, so now here's the divine opportunity for this to come forward. But now as this offer comes in, you actually may reject it. You actually may reject it. The Hierophant. Let's expand on the Hierophant, please. Wow, the Hermit. Card of Virgo. Nine of Wands. Oop. Page of Swords, 
Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> Someone wants to come in and tell you that it, there's basically indecision is over. This it feels like this person, um, but we're gonna see when we expand on them. So now it's like you want to take your sweet precious time making a decision. <laughs> Perhaps this person took forever and you got a broken heart as a result of it. And now that they've done a 180 and realized what you are to them, they want to bring in this love offer. And now you want to take your time. <laughs> it seems to be a little bit, it's, and this is, the, the funny thing is, is this process that you are putting yourself through is exhausting you as you continue to hold out on this person. Okay. The chariot card of cancer. Oop, 10 of cups wanted to pop out. Card of cancer. Chariot moves. Let's see what we're moving on here. Two of cups. 10 of swords. Fool. Two of pentacles, five of wands. Yeah, something really blew up before. It could have been something at work. Could have cost you your job. A lot of anxiety around it. Some healing, but more anxiety than healing. Okay. So, yeah, I'm seeing the start stop again. Like the first time this happened, it got crushed by those ten swords, which would crush anyone. And now that it's coming back, it's nothing but basically <laughs> a mess <laughs> of a decision because there's this w desire to take the risk, to make this work, to make this fit. It's like you could already be getting in, in fights with this person. I don't see this as other people. It looks like it's the two of you trying to make this fit, trying to make this work of, wait, but do I really want this to work? Woo! Hierophant, ten of cups on the bottom. Hierophant again. It's like this, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I. It's like, eh, but look look what they did, like the whole first X amount of time of this connection. They did absolutely nothing, or they were they chose someone else, or whatever it is. This person has done some kind of 180. Let's see what's happening here, because this, this is silly. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Let's expand on the Ace of Wands, please. Page of Wands. Nine of Swords, Fool, King of Swords. Yeah, they're afraid you're going to cut them out of your life. And you might. You, you, you might. There's the Queen of, the Queen of Wands again. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's one where, there it is, there it is, there it is. There were two Queens here. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. One you met at work. It could be one you're already with. Or simply having two to choose from. This, this Queen of Wands was getting progressively more exhausting. Okay, even if you're still in the relationship, your, your heart isn't totally in it. Okay. So this person is, the one thing that they fear is that they put in the effort to come forward to make a grand gesture sort of offer, and they get cut out anyway. Okay. Star, card of Aquarius, that's you. Let's expand on that, please. That is your energy. Queen of Swords. Then we have King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Four of Wands. Hierophant, Taurus again. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is this is the offer. The offer is to stabilize this connection in the form of a long-term commitment, an investment. This this fighting, this previous ending, it's just something. This really hurt. This really hurt. Am I brave enough to go after my happiness again after what happened last time? Ouch. Hey, love is love love relationships can be rough. Connections can be rough. Okay. Knight of Cups. What's coming in with the Knight of Cups, please? Eight 
Eight of Wands. Page of Pentacles could literally be a gift. Cancer again, changing everything, son. Wow. Emperor on the bottom. This is incredible. Okay, Aries and Gemini there. There's new partnerships or contracts with the two of wands. Okay, so communication, bringing in the love and quite possibly a physical gift. Okay, and then you've got these three majors coming in after that. Chariot card of Cancer, Wheel of Fortune, that's fixed sign energy, Sun, Leo energy. So this is really ushering you into happier times. This is really ushering you into happier times. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is something that's really incredible that's coming in here. All you have to do is hold the vision you want and this person's going to hand it to you. Is there anything else I need to clarify before going on to the extended? Hmm. Let's see. Because it, it feels like this is a connection that may have ended before. Why did this end before? Why did this connection end before? Ooh. Seven of Cups. Okay. <laughs> okay. Justice, Card of Libra, Page of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, seven of wands, someone taking their fucking time. Strength. Nice. Now they want to, yeah, now they want to, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like this seven of cups, let's expand on just that card, please. It, it looks like someone either made another choice or caused confusion. And what that did is it ended up making this connection stagnant. Temperance, Card of Sagittarius, Hangman, yep, indecision, yep, couldn't make a fucking decision. But now they want to, because now the feelings are really, really, really deep. See how it's Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, plus the Moon, plus the Page of Cups. A lot of emotion here. A lot of deep emotion here that had to basically be shelved. And that's really hard to do. That's really hard to do. Okay? So... I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this King of Swords, Knight of Cups. I'm going to see what's going on with him in his current energy. I'm going to see what's going on with him in his near future, as well as the final outcome of the connection in this lifetime. It looks like your mind is really playing its own role in this connection. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about this connection at this point in time, messages from this King of Swords slash Knight of Cups, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.